Today in El Salvador, war belongs to the museums. This doesn't mean that this part of its history is buried for all time. The civil war is alive in the memories of the people, and museums will keep the memories and experiences intact for as long as possible. Estos eran los cascos que utilizaban la guardia, el cuerpo militar, uno de los más represivos de El Salvador. Las rampas, las minas de pateo. Todo esto son minas artesanales. Artesanales, claro. Como las que hacía la chava esa que te digo. Este es Andrew, Saulito, que murió en la última, en la batalla del 91, en Santa Elena, en Sultán. El Goyo Negro, que le decían, murió en San Miguel. Los dirigentes del Frente Democrático Revolucionario. Esto fue una, una de los escuadrones de la muerte. Lisset fue una chava muy famosa, de, de, originaria de Chilana. Fue de la generación de Carolina, mi hermana. Sí, y de Irma. Uh -huh. Eran de esa camada. Este, Janet Samurz. Capturada en diciembre del 84, norte de San Miguel, sexta avenida norte de San Miguel. Uh -huh. Fue capturada y asesinada. After the war, neoliberalism became the norm in El Salvador. Democracy was manipulated by the constant influence of the US. The country threw itself into the poverty trap that currently affects most countries on earth. But those who fought in the war, those who died, those who kept their principles intact, the ones who lost their goods and the ones who lost their relatives, the ones who became disabled or lost their minds, those who were called terrorists and killers because they didn't belong to the side of the powerful, and, even if it is sad to accept it, also those who sold themselves to the other side and the people who stole from international aid those who trafficked with the weapons that should have been given away, at least for the aims that made them join the revolution, those who fought for a change, they won, because they wanted the end of death. And since these images were filmed, twice the FMLN has led the presidency of the country. Political parties, although slowly, are getting away from the discourses of the Cold War. Youngsters have professional aspirations in the country, and emigration is no longer the only alternative. Chio is the one who introduced me to the characters that you've met, and this has been his way of showing his reality. Political hypocrisy, crime, corruption, betrayal, welcome to the fight for democracy. It won't be easy, but at least you won't be afraid of your government sending a death squad to your house at night because of some graffiti on the National Palace wall.